Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. It is 5 12 20 and today I'm doing cucumber. Alright, so like always you should have your journal sheets and on the back side of your journal sheets, which is just my scrap paper, like always. And we have our little cucumber plant. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Let's get the stats down. Today is 5, 12, 20. Talking about cucumber. And the day is, well, the last time we met was day one. And it's been eight days since. So we're doing one plus eight. I have one cucumber. I buy eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count how many cucumbers we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have no more columns, so today is day nine. Cucumber is it a fruit, vegetable, or herb? It's not a herb, so it's a fruit or vegetable. Which one? It's a vegetable. Temperature today is 57 degrees. Last class it was 47 degrees. What's warmer today, 57 degrees or 47 degrees last class? What's the bigger number today? So by how much? I have to subtract. I'm putting my bigger number today, 57, take away 47. We want to find out, if we want to find out the difference of something, we subtract. This is an easy problem once I put my imaginary line in there. I have seven cucumbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many did I eat? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many are left? Zero. This column's done, and I'm going to go to the next problem. I have five, take away four. I have five cucumbers, one, two, three, four, five, and I ate, or took away, four. One, two, three, four. How many are left? One. I have no more columns, so I take away my imaginary line, and I find out my answer is difference of 10 degrees. Today is sunny. Now let's look at our plants. Now remember it's been nine days. And you could easily see our little plant is starting to peek out of the dirt. You can already see the veins at the bottom of the leaf. This is bright green, a little bit yellow over here, a little bit of white, but we don't have a white marker or white coloring pencils that'll help us. But if you're using paint, you could definitely do white there. But we have these veins on both sides. So let's measure it. Once again, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me. Click. 
closest we could get nearest is quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. I'll show you how to write that. We do a one, a line, then a four underneath it. Then we do those two little marks. So that's a quarter of an inch. We have zero flowers. I didn't see any cucumbers growing, did you? No. So zero. Our dirt is damp, so it's wet. Are we going to water it? No. So, you can write down the information while I copied on my journal sheet. If you need a copy the sheet, you can pause the video right now. If you pause the video, welcome back. Let's go to our coloring sheet. I have that. It's a little muddy, but we're fine. We're going back to our orange, brown, reddish pot. So we're gonna need red. We're gonna need some orange. And we're gonna need some brown for the pot. <clears throat> for the dirt, we have our brown right here. Then we're gonna use black. We're gonna use some yellow for the side of the plant that we saw. And we're gonna use a light green and a dark green, just for the veins. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors. Yeah, it's a little muddy. So first off, I'm going to use my orange because it's the lightest of the colors for the pot. This uh, coloring might look a little different from the rest of you guys today because I'm using a purple piece of paper. So I don't know how that's going to affect the color. But use whatever colors you have available at home. Said tomorrow is supposed to be almost 70 to uh, almost 60 degrees. Still a little cool, but tomorrow might be the best time to plant some seeds in your garden. It's supposed to rain tomorrow night and Thursday. And then next week we're supposed to be in the mid 70s with some more rain. So perfect time to start planting your seeds if you haven't. Or like I even said, if you go to the grocery store, if you get your groceries delivered, if you have any vegetables, tomatoes, peppers that we talked about yesterday, uh, cucumbers, zucchini, they all have seeds in them. Try planting them, see if they grow. Now, if you get fruit from a store, like a banana, 
blueberries. You're probably not going to get them to grow. Definitely not a banana. But if you mash it up, you'll, you'll, you'll see little seeds through little black dots. All right, let's take a look at our pot. I have three colors in there, which is kind of hard to see because of the color of the paper and the lighting, but got to do the job. All right, then I color my dirt. It's a purple, or purple paper, uh, brown color pencil. for this plant. Let's take another look at it. And you see the stem, it's like a hook. Oops, try again. So you have the stem right here and then it bends and here are your leaves. These leaves over here are gonna pop out of the ground and it's going to be a straight looking plant. But right now we have the root uh, stem, which we're going to do a light green and yellow. Then we're going to do a light green yellow leaves. And just because these veins, I, I don't have paints or markers right now with me today. I'm just going to do a dark green for the veins. So if you need to pause the video now to get a, a picture of how this is going to look, so you copy it and trace it or color it. You could pause it now. If not, continue working and now continue working. So I'm going to do yellow first. Which is very hard to see coming on this purple paper, but try our best. my light green on top of it. I'm gonna get my dark green. And we saw three veins, three big, strong looking veins. Should I have something that looks like this? Alright, so we did our journal, we did our back side of the journal, our coloring page, cleaning up. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. You guys are doing a pretty good job. Some people said, um, just a few students had trouble with the video yesterday. I don't know what the issue was, but hopefully um, we don't have that issue again today. But if it happens, let me know. If there's any issues you guys have, let me know. And then uh, I try to fix it right away. But the um, only thing I can think of is like maybe you're using a different computer. Um, I know a lot of the CPS computers that you guys got, um, there's some issues with YouTube on there, so maybe that's the reason why. 
If that's the case, you could try changing the settings in YouTube. For some reason, our, they're saying this uh, location is in Brazil. We don't live in Brazil. Our location is United States. So try changing that. And then if you go to um, restrictions, shut off the restrictions, and then you should be able to view it. But all my other videos the past two, two, three weeks have been fine. So if you're still having issues, let me know. Um, all right. You guys are doing a good job, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.